Hey everybody, this is Don over Johnny's Used Cars. Today I'm sure this 2010 Toyota Porte. It's got 98,000 kilometers on it, which is about 61,000 miles. Before we get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on a lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's Used Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's go ahead and take a look around. We'll show the features inside, but first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos, gonna answer a lot of your questions. So things like the uh, JCI, the warranty, the financing, I cover all that and more. So please bear with me until the end, you have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. This Toyota Porte is a two, um, uh, I'm sorry, two. <laughs> it's a two door, but it's a five passenger vehicle in the 500 series category, so the mid-size category. Road tax per year is going to be 7,500 yen, which is about $45 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. So we'll take care of it for you this year. You won't have to worry about it the next April or May. Now, you do have two options to pay for it. First one being US dollars cash out rate, which could get you a larger discount. Or you can take advantage of 0% 0, 0 finance for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want something down, reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Totally up to you. Before we go inside, I always like showing the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit this way. If it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is you can even cross ventilation. Get that extremely hot air out. And always get yourself a good windshield visor. So let's jump on in. You can see the seat is all the way forward. I'm going to show you the functionality of that later. All right, let's get this baby started first. Actually, I'm going to try to slide this back. Reach over, because then I won't be able to show you the leg room. Okay, so. 98,166 on the odometer. Show you a couple of warning lights. That blinking one, obviously your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. The one to the right of that is your new temperature gauge. So it's gonna be light green when the engine's cool. It'll go away when the engine warms up and it'll be uh, red if it's overheating. Be on the lookout for that. And then all the way over there is your um, your emergency brake. It's not a low pressure tire gauge. So this one is a kick tight. So when you kick it, disengage, it goes away. Kick it again, comes right back on. Other than that, very simple, straightforward instrument cluster. However, it's not straight ahead, okay? It's off to the center. Anything pops up on the dash while you're driving, please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action, okay? All right, so in front of the uh, steering wheel, we do have this little compartment. It's gonna give a little storage, and this guy hiding in here is your ETC reader. That's the electronic toll collector. This works like easy pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway. Uh, off to the left here, you have your radio. Uh, this one does not have a rear camera. You have your shifter on the column, air conditioning controls, your cup holders, and a little compartment down here for some storage. Then you got a small glove box. Okay, and then just a little shelf there for whatever you need it for. And then a cup holder on the door panel there and storage and cup holder on the driver's side door panel. That is your passenger space over there. You got your red roof flare hanging out. And then this is the space I have on my side. Let me back that up. Okay, I am 511 as everybody loves knowing. The seat is all the way back, all the way down. Um, I can drive just as is or slide it up just a little bit if need be. Let's go, because there's a lot of space in here, a lot of headroom. That's my I love it right there. Really can't see anything past the windshield wipers like on most vehicles. Okay. Now I'd like to take this time to show you the auction sheet showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. Non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. All these other dealers out here can't tell you that on all their cars. We can for every single one. So this was graded number four from the auction overall with a B and B on the exterior and interior. So it's a really, really clean car. Very good grade for this. Now it's going to be up here on the sun visor on the driver's side so you can see for yourself. Okay. And then, um, I'm sorry, it does have a power outlet here as well. So, I'll show you a couple other things before we go to the back, and then I'm going to go on the passenger side to show you the uh, functionality of the seat and the rear. All right, so you have on the right side of the dash, you do have your mirror controls. This does have a power sliding door on the left side, so you have an option of turning that off if you want. Little compartment here for some coins, and then your uh, hood release. Please don't forget on the floor here, move that plastic rubber mat out of the way you do have your uh, gas cover release okay and then on the uh, door panel you have your door lock and window controls so let's uh, turn this off let's go to the hatch area so you have this nice deep pocket uh trunk area here to fit a lot of uh things back here you do have an option of uh, pulling this up okay now you're gonna see you have two uh, uh hooks here this one, if you push this button and push this up, that, that'll go in. And now, with the seatbelt out of the way, 
you can recline it, okay? And that's how much it will recline. So I'm going to leave that as is, and then I'm going to go on this side and show you the functionality of this side. All right, so all you do is pull that one time, and it goes all the way back. Okay, I said I'm going to show you this. All right, so maybe you have a taller person uh, in your family. Uh, watch what the what happens here. There you go. Look at all that space. So I can't even, I'm not even touching all the way over there. All right. So this one slides all the way back. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. And they do have a, a metal rod that you can put in here so you're not uh, killing anybody's knees. But let's go ahead and move them back. Do that right there. Normal position. Now you can lift this up and the uh, seat back is going to go down. And then with your fingers on, uh, they go in here and your thumb, you just slide that all the way forward. Now look how easy it is to get inside. So people with smaller families, they actually uh, never use the driver's door because they put the kids in and they just walk over to that side. So I'm going to jump on in. I'm going to go to the one behind the seat. Now with the seat all the way back, I'm a good seven inches away from the back seat to my knees. You do have a couple uh, cup holders back here and a couple of storage uh, compartments back here as well. And on the left side too. All right. And you do have a button up here uh, that'll control the sliding door. A button right in the middle there, okay, that'll control the sliding door, or you just do use the handle. All right, so let's jump on out. Very easy to get in and out of this thing. And again, just hold that uh, once, and you'll hear the beep. So let's show you this engine compartment. They're going to wrap this video up. Come on. All right, what's going on here? It's right there. What am I... There you go. Sticking a little bit. All right, and here you have it. This is a 1.3 liter engine, nice and clean. All right. And there you go. 2010 Toyota Porte. What did I say? Uh, 98,000 kilometers on it, which is about 61,000 miles. Military price was down at 4,600 with additional military discount. We'll get it down to 4,400. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on a lot discounts and you will get a lower price on this. But for now, the 4,400 is going to include the two year JCI, the one year bumper to bumper full warranty. The 2022 road tax and the 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top is going to be the American insurance requirement, whether you're going liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties out here real quick, yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. Uh, but we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealer, see what they have, but definitely stop by Johnny G's Cars, have a look around, let us show you what we have, what our program's all about, and how it can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. Stop by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. So don't forget, two ways to pay for it, U.S. dollars cash outright, or take advantage of the 0% finance for 24 months with zero down. Either way, we're good to go. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.